right I'm back and we are almost halfway into day four I had college today I had dinner fast and went to dancing class just arrived home so day four means the largest army let's start with that the mightiest army is Persia followed by myself and third is Maranhao fourth South Africa fifth South China Sao Paulo is ranked second Venezuela not in here Colombia not in here big mounted North Brazil not in the list Peru not in the list then also 30 players went offline today that is a lot man look at this list incredible I said I wouldn't expand but uh struck a small deal with Marahinho he wanted to attack Sao Paulo together but actually he started attacking our big mounted North Brazil that has a big mount but a little skill but I've got myself a bit in a situation I wanted to take the last provinces of Goyas however he had three infantry over here and I'm badly damaging my units I hope my light tank will survive uh, I'm gonna link all these units up this province over here so that at least the damages can be shared among all the units there are a lot of units over here a stack of 11 units three light tanks and eight infantry but they are heavily damaged so I'm moving in my rocket artillery he has been inactive all day so I feel confident I can do it they should arrive on target after I wake up tomorrow so that should be good I hope this single rocket artillery will make it as you can see I've upgraded my infantry I've been able to take the capital of Chile the capital of Bolivia that's two capitals before last day change so as you can see I produce now 645 manpower it's amazing capture the supply drop received food goods and oil this has permitted me to uh, upgrade my industry I've put the lab level 4 in the queue upgraded also my rural oil as I was getting uh, low on uh, that side I've got more subs now eight of them got a ninth in production also here two units in Sao Paulo as soon as those six units are stacked up I'm gonna move in for the kill same over here in Uberlandia however I only have uh, three light tanks one armored car but I'm gonna go in anyway my light armored units are pretty damaged as it is unfortunately so I'm gonna have to pay attention to heal them up each day change as I'm moving fast playing aggressive I'm using a more melee combat than I usually do and I see that my 10th rocket artillery just rolled out of production so we're gonna send it over there as well offensive fire settings done that's good so with a stack of 10 units I should be good in case I get outflanked I was hoping that uh, Sao Paulo would attack Marahinho when I informed him that he was going to get uh, attacked but it looks like he went AWOL instead unfortunately and then I've been talking about big mounted North Brazil let me show you why we had a nice conversation the two of us when I scroll up first he's like in capitals join us I replied your coalition is full anyways players never learn South America is too small for five players who march on each other's feet and have weak economies then he sends me back if I make space for you will you join us we owe South America now if you join we will own the world dude as long as I'm here in the continent you owe Jack and besides you had too many losses man 20k manpower lost at the end of day two so I reply but your coalition is already full I'm just buying time however he's very arrogant so he replies I know you dumb cunt I can simply get rid of one and if you would like to join lol join us and I replied is it by talking like that that you hope to impress me you really need to work on your communication and diplomatic skills and he replies not when I'm dealing with an idiot who we can crush you're not even in the mightiest army list are you joking so I'm replying says the player who lost 20k manpower the first two days of the game has bad stats and low in inactivity you are so low skilled that your ally left your alliance and is taking you over you've booted Colombia as he did nothing Venezuela isn't the big help neither and Sao Paulo is pretty nope he lost 70k manpower in the first two days and his units were badly damaged there isn't the we as your coalition is falling apart you don't own anything in South America as long as I'm alive I was only stalling you because I don't want to join your alliance or coalition you and your mates are poor players and five players is too much for a small continent the ideal coalition is two South Americans and three North Americans you are talking trash to hide the fact that you are insecure he replies with what 
So I'm going like, whatever makes you feel better, I'm a fair and polite player, so I won't respond. Good, stop wasting my time, twat. And I'm, I replied, you, Venezuela and Colombia aren't even in the mightiest army list. Your army is only one third of mine. You shouldn't talk trash and insult players if you don't have the army and skill to back it up. Oh, still wasting my time, just like a twat. And I've replied, said the guy who wastes his time playing with virtual toy soldiers. Oh well, wasting my time, just like a twat. I mean, how old? are you dude freaking hell anyhow i'm gonna take uh, these two cities and then i think i'm just gonna run a rampage on empty provinces i hope that i don't encounter any other units i'm gonna leave the cities for tomorrow when i'm online i think also peru must have given up the plane has been uh, patrolling over here all day long but hey i'm doing incredibly good man taking south america should be good just need to deal with marin Hao, who has a good army i guess most of north americans went ai only four players are remaining if i play my cards right there should be possibility for me to conquer the entire americas we'll see however 30 ai they're gonna ship over they're gonna attack me man especially here asians but well, actually only new zealand maybe over here that's gonna be something hey we're gonna see and then i'm gonna do something fun i'm gonna put the relations on red bam look at that some nations are brown because they gave me peace but i'm still in war with them for example siberia I'm in war with him, man. See? Red. Anyhow, look at that. The next day. Right, we are nine hours into day five. I've been doing very well for myself. As you can see, I've got a big territory. I'm ranked the first, followed by a North Brazil, who has lost 40 units so far during this game. In this game, he captured 144 provinces, lost 61. I mean, 39 deaths. That is a lot. This confirms also the newspaper. If I look for North Brazil, then you can see that he had major losses against me. Lost 17,000 against Maranhao, 7,000 against Peru, and 10,000 against South USA. So that's 10,000, 17,000, 34,000, 42,000 manpower he has lost. That is a lot. But however, first let me put the diplomatic settings over here, the map mode on show nation color. You can see that Maranhao has lost against North Brazil, made it into his core provinces, but nothing much has happened. He mailed me in the night. He asked me at uh, 50 past midnight to uh, help as North, uh, North Brazil has mobilized units like flame tanks, which he wasn't expecting. As you might remember, Maranhao had a far superior army than North Brazil did. He was ranked third in the mightiest army list and North Brazil wasn't even in there. And so now I am getting attacked by those same units. I've been able to have the morale of his flame tank, but this is another proposition. 142 hit points for a heavy tank and a medium tank. This 200 hit points in total and then over here another flame tank is coming behind me this over here is a motorized infantry so i think he's gonna try to move behind my units with his motorized infantry in order to try to take away my provinces so i that i can't retreat fast enough but i have prepared for this I'm gonna assemble my units over here i'm retreating them also this sp unit i have kind of all the same units in my cart so basically uh, that guy used all the units all the cards he has in his position and this brings me back to the question how on earth am i going to continue to game clean without gold without a booster cards without a unit cards this becomes increasingly more difficult i mean look at the hp of these beasts man that is 202 hp combined i've been shooting and scooting for the past three hours and i guess i'm gonna have uh, another six hour shooting and scooting to do however this is another flame tank of 62 hit points man and those units they're really good they deal 16 damage in attack versus unarmored even six versus light armor and three versus heavy armor those are very very good stats man and as he is using mainly heavy armor and light armored units i can't even make flame tanks of my own to counter him i've got the first railroad gun in production another 11 hours and 17 minutes and i'm also upgrading my secret lab to level 4 i wanted to do that before but i didn't have the oil i've built a bit of uh, infrastructure over here and over here to get uh, my railroad guns faster towards the gap over here if i put my units over here or over here i'm gonna be able to uh, dominate this whole region and i should probably now 
construct a level 3. So I'm gonna queue up because I don't have the food. Same over here, queue up. I have used a couple cards myself to prepare my stack for the railroad guns. I have used uh, two anti-air cards, one motorized infantry card and four cards for militia. The rest I have uh, made in the conventional way. So for now I'm just gonna have to do a fighting retreat so that I can lure him into my territory and counterattack with a nice railroad gun stack. I just need to buy time to get enough railroad guns. In research, I'm researching militia. Level 2 stealth units can be pretty good and attack bombers so that I can counter those heavy armored units from the enemy. Railroad guns plus attack bombers that should do the trick. I'm just following my initial build order all along. I'm not gonna be able to stay here in place much longer as I'm gonna have to retreat. It takes me how much time to retreat? One hour four minutes. Stop. And he's gonna arrive there in 1 hour 30 minutes. So I've got two more shots, then I need to get out of there. Shot in 6 minutes, then another shot, and then I need to retreat. And I don't deal a lot of damage versus a heavy armor with rocket artillery, of course. I only deal 17 hit points damage. This is the only moment where I uh, think like, ah! should have produced artillery but artillery is not that good of a unit and it costs way too much goods these units over here they are pretty damaged as you can see i ran into a medium tank and uh ended up in melee combat with units from sao paulo but it is what it is i guess also these units are pretty damaged by now peru over here he has attacked me as well he took this province and this one over here and i've got the supply drop there it's ironic that is actually the reason why i'm sending back those units to uh, avoid the incursions from Peru because I wanted to send that stack into the core provinces of North Brazil but that is no longer possible if I want to avoid getting flanked which means that our friend over here can continue making medium tanks heavy tanks with impunity and I don't like that we've got Peru over here that is moving towards the core provinces of Brazil at least it's that I guess also over here we've got Brazil who is attacking me he's attacking me with two light tanks over here La Paz there are two light tanks as well which is why I'm sending my units over here because he's gonna pass over here that is uh, just a fact and we're gonna see how everything evolves but um, I'm gonna be in for a tough ride even though North Brazil is nope if he's going to attack together with Venezuela and Peru that's gonna become problematic four hours later it looks like this might become the beginning of the end we also have now venezuela who is arriving with units produced with cards three level two artillery a flame tank and an anti-air amazing we have also got peru who is continuing his attack with two light tanks that ain't good man those flame tanks are pretty good i haven't decided yet if i want to mobilize them myself especially as they're weak versus armor and here he's trying to push with a single unit he retreated uh, his heavy armor as he saw he was getting shelled and lost a lot of health and here we still have that uh, SPN tire on the loose and I would like to go to bed but of course I don't want this motorized infantry to get it behind my lines so I guess I'm gonna stay awake a little bit longer I hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications I want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel